So today I'm gonna show you how to balance your Moza Air Course 3. Not necessarily just this gimbal, but you can apply it in every single gimbal that you use. I use this one, highly recommend if you wanna get one of those. Vertically and horizontally, okay? First one is gonna be horizontal. Step number one, I position the plate on my camera. It depends on the size of the lens that you're gonna use. In my case here, I'm gonna be using a 50 mil all the way back to number one. Because if it's too heavy, the lens, you need to push this plate forward, okay? As you can see mine here, it's gonna be in between one and four. After this, I like to lock my gimbal, this part first. I'm gonna put this here. As you can see here, my camera is too far to the right side. Unlock this and I'm gonna move a little bit more. So now my Sony A7 III fits perfect. I'm gonna lock this and I'm gonna see that the plate now is pretty good. Move a little bit back and lock. Now I'm gonna go to this side axis here, very bad at the moment but we're gonna move this very nice in the center now that we did this and this we're gonna go for this axis that's gonna rotate the gimbal unlock this what i like to do for this one the base one facing forward and two in diagonal kind of like a triangle here move this a little bit to the side and you see the gimbal is gonna go in that direction so that means that i can move a little bit more back unlock this move a little bit back lock and there we go see just a little bit of adjustment already made a huge difference look good to me i'm gonna turn on now that's on i'm gonna press and hold on menu shutter camera option i'm gonna press down it's gonna go to power and then when in power i'm gonna move to the right which we're gonna go on auto tune that's what we want to calibrate this for us. We're gonna press right again. Success. Very good. Now, vertically, I'm gonna press and hold to turn it off. The base, the plate here, unlock. We're gonna lock everything again. The same plate that we are using here, we're gonna do up and down. I use on this plate here on the side. Okay, now that that one is locked, we're gonna start to unlock things. Boom, this one, it's already rotating back. I can unlock, I'm gonna bring this up so I can have access to this one. Bring the camera a little bit forward, too much. It's coming forward again, forward again. Boom, now I need to bring this down. Perfecto, now we're gonna do the side one again this one's very heavy i already know that i'm gonna have to bring this in lock this now that we have that we're gonna do the other one and you can see it's already like very nice if i do this it could be better bring it out more back. now i'm gonna turn on press and hold same thing again, because now we need to balance the motors based on this configuration. Press and hold M, bring down on the joystick, power, go to the right, auto tune, and wait. And that's exactly what I do every single time. So as you can see here, a little bit of time consuming, but when you do once, you don't need to do it again. So you just calibrate, get everything ready before your shoe. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you wanna keep learning everything about the Moza Air Course 3, I'm gonna leave a video right here for you.